Please call the order to stay trial to the council meeting for Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. Nancy, please call the roll. Kim? Here. Petula? Here. Werbaum? Here. Fesner? Here. Weber? Here. Sokaitis? Folks? Here. Bungard? Here. Munn? Here. Lencioni? Yes. Thank you. Tonight's invocation will be given by Alderman Petula. <clears throat> Once again, we give thanks for our many blessings as individuals and as a community. <clears throat> we ask for wisdom and courage, the wisdom to see beyond our individual needs and the courage to act on behalf of the people. Amen. Alderman Weber, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, I'd be honored. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We do not have any presentations this evening, so the omnibus vote, Alderman Besser. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to make a motion to approve the omnibus vote. Second. Moved by Besser, seconded by Werbel. Any comments or questions? Nance, please call the roll. Gem? Yes. Petula? Yes. Werbel? Yes. Besser? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folk? Yes. Bungard? Yes. Munn? Yes. Lencioni? Yes. Thank you. We do not have any old business this evening, so under new business we have a few items. Item A, a recommendation from me to approve the appointment of Conrad Newell. Could you please stand for a moment? Uh, to the DAM task force. Conrad has a bachelor's degree in biology from Augusta, no, yeah, Augusta College and a master's degree in fishery science. Is that correct? Fishery science? Fishery science. Interesting. Okay. From Humboldt State <laughs> University. He currently works as a consultant assisting federal agencies with natural resources Issues and federal regulations. He has worked on a variety of projects, including stormwater and its plans, construction of nuclear submarine bases, riverine restoration projects, and offshore wind farms. Move for approval. Second. Move by Besner, seconded by Lencioni. Any comments or questions? Nance, please call the roll. Thank you. Gem? Yes. Petula? Yes. Werbel? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folk? Yes. Bungard? Yes. Munn? Yes. Lencioni? Yes. Thank you. Item B, a recommendation from me to approve the appointment of Brian Port. Could you please stand? Thank you. To the DAM Task Force. Brian has a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and a Master of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition from the University of Illinois. He currently works as a Senior Quality Systems Specialist for Tate and Lyle. He is the Vice President of the St. Charles Canoe Club and teach, teaches lessons through the St. Charles Park District. Thank you, Brian. Move by Lincoln, second by Bongard. Any questions, comments? Nance, please call the roll. Gem? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Werbaum? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folks? Yes. Bongard? Yes. Munn? Yes. Lencioni? Yep. Thank you. Item C, a recommendation from me to approve the appointment of Alderman Ryan Bongard to the DAM task force. Move for approval. Second. Second. Move by Besner, seconded by Munn. Any comments or questions? Nance, please call the roll. Gem? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Werbaum? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folks? Yes. Bongard? Yes. Yes, 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 myself. You can vote. Yes. Okay. Yes. Lencioni. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Item D, a recommendation from me to approve the appointment of Alderman Paul Lencioni to the DAM Council. Move for approval. Second. Move by Besner, seconded by Gem. Questions, Gem? Nance, please call the roll. Gem? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Werbel? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folk? Yes. Bungard? Yes. Munn? Yes. Lencioni? Yes. Thank you. Item E, a recommendation from me to approve the appointment of Alderman Brian Werbaugh for the DAM task force. So move. Second. <laughs> Moved by Lencioni, second by Petrilli, because you're your counterpart. Uh, any comments or questions? <laughs> Nance, please call the roll. Gem? Yes. Petrilli? Yes. Werbaugh? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folk? Yes. Bungard? Yes. Munn? Yes. <clears throat> Lencioni? Yes. Thank you. Under committee reports, government operations, Alderman Weber. Well, looks like we have three items that need to be discussed here. Item A1, Bill Hanna, did you, do we need Bill to make a presentation on item A1? I no? I'll make a motion. Second. second. Moved by Weber, seconded by Werbaugh. Any questions? Nance, please call the roll. Gem? Yes. Petula? Yes. Werbaugh? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folk? No. Vanguard? No. Munn? Yes. Lencioni? Yes. Next up, uh, that motion carries. Next up, we have item A2. I'll make a motion. Second. Moved by Weber, seconded by Werbel. 
Any questions or comments? Nance, please call the roll. Scam? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Werbaum? Yes. Buzzer? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folks? No. Bungard? No. Munn? Yes. Lanzioni? No. All right, that motion carries. Next up, we have item A3. I'll make a motion for that one as well. Second. Moved by Weber, seconded by Werbaum. Any comments or questions on that one? Nance, please call the roll. Gem? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Werbaum? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folk? Yes. Bongard? Yes. Munn? Yes. Lencioni? No. Thank you. Moving on to government services. Alderman Bongard, anything further? Nothing further, Your Honor. Planning and development. Alderman Lencioni. Uh, yes, we have uh, one uh, under item three. I'd like to, uh, do you want to present that or do I just make a motion? Uh, you can make a motion. Oh, well, available. I, uh, yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the resolution regarding establishing the 2024 inclusionary housing fee in lieu amount. Second. Moved by Lencioni. Seconded by Gem. Yes, you have a comment? Just a, comment? just brief one. Um, yes. <clears throat> no, I just wanted to say I appreciate, I support this obviously, and I appreciate um, that we that we're, we supported this committee. I think there's great opportunity. Um, you know, in the staff leadership, we, we discussed in committee about um, uh, your leadership in encouraging more units uh, as we move forward, and I think there's a great opportunity in uh, Charlestown Mall area, for instance, where we can um, implement those changes. So I think uh, as a housing commissioner, I, I support the uh, initiative. So thank you. Thank you. Alderman Weber. I just want to say uh, at, at committee, I did not support this. Not that I don't support, obviously, um, having money. It was the, the increased fees. I didn't see that there was any current justification or reasoning to increase the fees, seeing as though um, we're not currently able to use the fees that we currently um, have, so that's all I got. Okay. Alderman Gemmy. Yeah, my only question was a very good work. Thanks for us and everybody on staff, but um, the last update to the affordable housing price was back in 2018. How often does that get looked at? So that number is updated by the state. So they update that number every five years when they issue the new report with our percentage of affordable housing. Okay. That just wasn't listed as how often they do it. So thank you, Russ. Thank you. Alderman Paul. Yeah, I just wanted to piggyback off of what Alderperson uh, Weber said, kind of in the same boat. There's no need to increase at, the, at this time, which is why I was in no vote. Thank you. Okay. Other comments? Okay, we have a motion by Lencioni and a second by Gemma. Great. Nance, please call the roll. Gemma? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Werbaum? Yes. Besner? Yes. Weber? No. Folk? No. Bonger? Yes. Munn? Yes. Lencioni? Yes. Thank you. Um, now we are moving on to public comment, and I'll just make a quick comment because I know we've had several folks come up to discuss IMEA. So just for um, clarification for the audience, the IMEA is the Illinois Municipal Electric Agency. <coughs> so formally approved, they formally approved the form of new power sales contract and capacity purchase agreement for the period of October 1st, 2035 through May 31st, 2055. This just passed February 15th. So what this means that there's a new agreement that can officially be offered to all IMEA member agencies, including St. Charles, and IMEA has asked its members to consider this new contract, which many of you have been commenting about over the next 14 months, and to provide a decision by April 30th, 2025. So um, in speaking with the Director of Public Works, who has his hand on all of this, staff is preparing a series of discussions, and this is for the council as well as the audience, on this topic, and they will begin in April. So that's the update we have from um, City Council's perspective to you, to you all. But um, please state your name and for your public comment. All right. I'm Henry J. Rankin. I've addressed the Council one other time. I did give a copy to, of my comments today to everybody, so you have a copy. I did not bring a copy of the financial statements for the IMEA, which is what my comments are based on. I'm too cheap to spend that much money on copy and paper. <laughs> all right. So... Dear Mayor Vitek and members of the City Council, uh, the subject is a businessman's reflection on the City of St. Charles electrical distribution business. I'm the owner of a manufacturing company in St. Charles Industrial Park. My interest in the electrical business in St. Charles began with concerns about the source of electricity, then the cost of electricity, and finally with the conduct of the IMEA, IMEA under its contract with the City of St. Charles. I'm very concerned about the current and future costs of electricity, 
under this IMEA relationship. I moved my business to St. Charles 45 years ago and raised my family in St. Charles for the past, past 40 years. So please accept my remarks as respectful to the City Council, uh, as my intention is to be helpful, not hurtful. Uh, I am a fan of St. Charles. Uh, first, let us address the fact that a past City Council decided to enter the electrical distribution business. Once that happened, the City Council took on the fiduciary responsibility to run that business efficiently and in the best interest of its customers. Neither the mayor nor the director of public works has the primary responsibility. You, the city council members, own it and you cannot pass it off to someone else. You are responsible for doing the due diligence and making the final decisions. In 1979, when I moved my company from Elk Grove Village to St. Charles, one of my many enticements was the fact that the electrical rates were 20% lower than Con Ed rates in Elk Grove Village. This was a meaningful savings but since then, those savings have disappeared. It's difficult to compare rates with ComEd directly, but alternate sources indicate that we are nowhere near that old 20% savings that we had 45 years ago. My controller is repeatedly contacted by alternate energy sources who do not understand that we are obligated to purchase <coughs> electricity from St. Charles. Attached is a copy of a recent quote that my controller secured, and it offers considerable savings. I am not suggesting that we switch to this supplier. I'm simply pointing out the fact that lower rates are available. Under our current contract with IMEA, we are not allowed to shop or con contract with these alternate sources. I started my look into the IMEA by securing a copy of the financial statements for IMEA on April 30, 2023 and 2022 as prepared by the audit firm Baker Tilly. Okay. That's what businessmen do. They, they read financial statements. On page 14 of the statement, a portion under the heading of reporting entity reads as follows. The contracts with power providers which obligate IMEA to purchase electrical energy for concurrent resale to its members are in effect through September 2035. It further states the termination date for all of the power sales contracts with participating members is September 30 of 2035. On page 21 of the statements, under jointly owned facilities, it states that IMEA owns 12.12% of the Trimble County, Trimble County Unit 1 facility, 12.12% of the Trimble County Unit 2 facility, and 15.17% of the Prairie State Project, which includes both the coal mine and reserves adjacent to the power facility, as well as the power facility. This means IMEA must answer to multiple masters. They must provide competitive electrical pricing to IMEA members, but also protect their ownership interest in two Trimble coal facilities and the Prairie State coal facility. This is an obvious conflict of interest. On page 30, item 13, Illinois State Senate SB 2408 reads as follows. In 2021, Illinois passed SB 2408, the Climate and Equitable Jobs, CEJA. The CEJA requires a 45% reduction in existing publicly owned Illinois power plant carbon dioxide emissions by January 1st of 2035. If such a reduction is not met by December 31st of 2035, then the plant must retire one or more units or otherwise reduce carbon emissions by 45% by June of 2038. The CEJA, CEJA further requires all publicly owned coal-fired generating units to permanently reduce carbon dioxide emissions to zero by December 31st of 2045. The financial consequences of modifying the three coal-fired plants or the huge costs of closing them down and securing the coal ash landfills parentheses, see the Three Rivers Network website for more details on that subject, could be huge. These costs could be avoided for St. Charles if we terminate our relationship with IMEA in September of 2035. It's not an issue if we're not with it. 
If the city council members are meeting their fiduciary responsibility, then you should be reading these statements as I have, and you should conclude that the IMEA has a horrible conflict of interest, and the implications of CEJI are scary as hell. So what is wrong with the IMEA contract? Number one, this is a long-lived, single-source contract with no competitive bidding for possible lower rates. There is no competitive bidding for alternate energy sources. Two, this is a cost-plus contract, and St. Charles has a very limited influence on a small percentage of that cost. Number three, single source has a seri- the single source has a serious conflict of interest because it has an obligation to support three coal facilities in which it has an ownership interest while trying to provide you with low prices. Four, wind and solar energy is currently half the cost of coal-fired energy today, something I addressed last time I was here. And the cost of wind and solar is on a descending cost curve. While the implications of CEJA suggest the cost of coal-fired power may be increasing to meet state regulations. I respectfully submit that the consideration of these facts, with consideration of these facts, not one CEO of a business in St. Charles Industrial Park would consider extending the current contract for even one minute. So what are the, re, uh, what are the real timelines facing us? One, because of our bond obligations, we cannot leave our contract before September 2035. Two, we can leave in September of 2035 if we give notice to IMEA five years earlier in September of 2030. To use this escape clause, we must not renew any contracts or approve any additional bonds. Note four, know that the IMEA request for contract extensions by April 30, 25, and the St. Charles request for extensions this year are simply requests that you have the power to reject and deny. You will not stop getting power from IMEA by voting no. Alternate actions. Some individuals have begun investigation into alternate energy sources. One example is Nextera Energy, which supplies energy to 49 states. They supply electrons. They simply supply electrons, but they can partner with service companies that provide local support. Nextera has indicated that a contract has to be signed five years before service commences. So you have until 2030 to do thorough research on a wide range of competing alternatives, like Externa. Naperville buys $100 million of energy per year, while St. Charles buys $40 million per year. Combining forces with a neighboring city like Naperville creates an attractive bundle for competitive bids, and if you combine the search effort with Naperville, the search effort to qualify various alternatives would be easier. You may consider forming a task force or another city committee to spearhead this research. (coughs) Thank you for your time and attention. Please consider exploring more competitive bids for future contracts. Please avoid entanglement with and fiscal responsibility for the upgrade or shutdown costs of coal-fired power plants. Please do not delay the possibility of purchasing new lower-cost energy sources beyond 2035. Please vote no on this and all future contract extensions. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? I do have a couple of items. Um, oh, you do have comments? Sure. Come on up. Sure. I too want to encourage, my name is Martha Gass. I want to encourage all of you council members to um, consider what this gentleman suggested about uh, forming a task force like what you have for reviewing the proposals for the dam. I think that, um, that there's a lot involved with these contracts and the task force and any of the um, local experts that you might be able to put on it would I think provide a lot of benefit for this city. Um, Also, I want to say that in March, right now it's set for March 18th at um, a location that is yet to be determined, but um, tentatively set for North Central College. There's going to be a broad scope informational meeting. 
that a woman in Naperville is um, setting up, and I hope that as the um, older people that you would consider attending that, there's going to be other municipalities attending that, as well as the Citizens Utility Board. And I think that the um, woman who's presenting it can speak intelligibly like this gentleman just did about the um, Nextera contract, which is a um, not a bond-related contract. And um, it's, um, it's basically informational. I hope that you'll all put it on your calendars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay, I have a couple. Uh, Director Gunderson is not here this evening, but it's his birthday. So when you came, wish him his birthday. Um, she doesn't want it to be mentioned, but it's going to be mentioned anyways. Tara's birthday's Monday. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't put it on here, but we added it. Um, just as a note, um, for those of you that know John Dewar, uh, the City of St. Charles joined so many members of the community in mourning the passing of the former Executive Director of the Forest Preserve District of Kane County, John Durer. Uh, John was always willing to get involved to make his community better. He served as an alderman on the St. Charles City Council from 1972 to 1993, was a member of the St. Charles Tree Commission now, which is the Natural Resources Commission, from 2012 to 19, and he received the Commission Stewardship Award just last year. On behalf of the city and the entire city council, we do want to extend our sincere condolences to his family. Um, on an unrelated note, uh, Brian and I visited Anderson Humane. Um, Brian made friends with an opossum. And, um, the ambassador, alderman. right? Is yeah, the ambassador. ambassador right. Brian's the alderman. They, that, that was the ambassador of right. the Humane mm. Society or Humane Center. So we, we learned all about how many animals they serve in the community, and I did not touch a single one of them, but Brian did. <laughs> yep. so, yep. It's a good time. Thank yep. you for yep. visiting. Yep. Um, Very nice. They'd love to have everyone else come out when you get an opportunity, so feel free to contact them. And just uh, because I have a family member that used to wrestle, we had two state champions from St. Charles East this weekend. One is a four-time state champion, Ben DeVino. So I'm sure he will be here in a couple of weeks to collect street signs, Peter. You'll be hearing about that soon. <laughs> and Jane Cologne is also a three-time one. And if Mr. Anderson was here, I would wish his, uh, tell him congratulations on his grandson victory third place in state. Wow. So um, that's all I have this evening. Does anyone up here have anything? Does staff have anything else? Okay, we do not have an executive session, so we'll move on to committee. Just need a motion to So move. move. Second. Move by Wurzel. Seconded by Petrilla. Nance, please call the roll. Kim? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Wurzel? Yes. Fezzer? Yes. Weber? Yes. Folks? Yes. Bonger? Yes. Munn? Yes. Lentioni? Yes.